A new program at the Perpich School in Golden Valley uses creative thinking to solve scientific problems. Art science is aimed at hands-on students who aren't afraid of trial and error. So what exactly is art science? Renee Bonneau introduces us to this week's standout student who's helping shape how the course is taught. Notice that the next page is your problem statement. Between the walls lined in post-it notes and the teen draped over a papasan chair, this feels more like an after-school club meeting than a class. But this is art science, a course in which students use art to research and analyze ways to solve scientific problems. It's a design class. These students have to be whole world thinkers. They need to think very holistically. To Kate Hampton, this is home. Ever since I came to Perpich, I have loved it. It has done me a world of good. This is Kate's fifth high school, and the only one she says has really allowed her creativity to shine. It's the Once same question that Energy 101 okay. gives you. Kate says art science gives her creativity a focus. Our job is to find out, think of something we want to do. How do we want to solve this problem? How do we want to make this solution better? The thing that I've always appreciated about Kate is her willingness to um, see the problem as a whole, uh, see it from different angles, different points of view, and even then when they start to come up with their solution, to be able to ask the big questions. Her teacher says her willingness to take risks makes her an excellent leader, especially for younger classmates. In fact, her overall approach to this class makes her a bit of a poster child for art science, and she has no problem assuming that role. I think if you're passionate about something, it makes it really easy for you to share it with others and to kind of shine a light on it. In Golden Valley, Renee Bonneau, 12 News. Kate has applied to several colleges, but she says ideally she would like to get real-world experience as soon as possible.